Nola Gent here in this episode, Acropolis Great Creek Food in the New Orleans area. Welcome to Nola Gent. Let the good times roll. Nola Gent here at Acropolis Cuisine with the owner. Hey, hey. how you doing everybody? Hey, why don't you come down and, and uh, check us out here. If you haven't been here before, we have lots of specials every day that we, do, uh, that we offer. Uh, two course and four course and we got a great menu here and, and uh, just come check us out because I never ate here ever when I worked in the area it was like every day every, every weekday day. I was here so. every day this man was here good stuff and I would say you probably have the best fish of any restaurant in the area for lunch the biggest portion sizes without a doubt thank you you sure do so good stuff. come check it out These guys have great food see y'all later in this episode of our restaurant review vlog, you are invited to eat with me great Greek food as we visit Acropolis Cuisine, which is located in the New Orleans suburb of Metairie, Louisiana, at 3841 Veterans Memorial Boulevard, which is about 20 minutes and 10 miles away from the French Quarter. So let's go ahead and head on inside here, as this really is one of my favorite restaurants in the area. Acropolis is a great Greek restaurant, famous for their great lunch specials, dinner specials, fried and grilled fish, along with an amazing menu of great Greek food, along with some great Italian pasta dishes. This is one of the best New Orleans restaurants and a local's favorite restaurant for their great food specials. So the center of my attention here is usually right here on their daily specials board, which really has an impressive selection. So during lunch, they have a two course special. Dinner time, they have a four course, or you can also do a three course special with them. So you get a choice of super salad, and today's choices are avocado, cream of broccoli, or six onion. You can also get the salad with a Caesar, or upgrade to a Greek or an Acropolis, a pan sauteed redfish, or with a choice of veggies and baked potato. Or you can also have a selection of other sides. They have a grilled red snapper with potato or rice pilaf, shrimp Asian, grilled jumbo golf shrimp, Pen pasta and a black and cream sauce, a pork ribeye seasoned and grilled, served with veggies and rice pilaf, an eggplant alanico stuffed with tomatoes, onions, and garlic. And then usually the list goes all the way down, but they've already sold out of several items. And then they also have a chicken hero wrap. Typically I'll order off the specials menu, but uh, every now and then I'll go into the menu as there's many delicious items in here as well. So there's some great appetizers with fried calamari, spinach and cheese pie, stuffed grape leaves, fried ravioli, feta and kalamata olives, saganaki, a choice of hummus, baba ganoush, or tzatziki, a cheese pie, Mediterranean hummus, fried eggplant, and an Acropolis appetizer sampler. Then we have soups with a roasted garlic potato, soup of the day, and six onion, a selection of salads, and a kid's menu. On the next page, they have a good selection of pita wraps of various types, and then we have even more lunch specials with moussaka, roasted chicken, which is huge and really delicious, a lasagna, a forno, and an eggplant sorrel. And then they have pizzas. I've actually never tried the pizzas before, but they look good. Then we have entrees with moussaka, chicken parmesan, baby bill parmesan, rosemary filet of chicken, roasted chicken, lasagna, a forno, eggplant sorrel, and Euro's platter. And then grilled items with char grilled double cut pork chops, braised lamb chops, and our famous grilled kebabs. Then for desserts, we have baklava, baklava sundae, bread pudding, tiramisu, vanilla bean ice cream scoop, and baklava a la mode. So the daily specials include cream soups, often like this cream of broccoli. And then they have a really good avagalimino or a chicken lemon soup. And then we have a really good cream of shrimp soup right here that comes on the menu pretty often. And then, oh, ho, ho, they have some of the best cannellonis in town. These Greek meatballs are fantastic. And then they have a lot of really delicious ravioli specials like this. And oh, their lasagna really is one of the best in town. They have a really good pasticcio, which is a great Greek dish. And all of their pastas are fantastic, like the shrimp pasta example. And of course, the fish. One of my favorite fish here is the amberjack. They have red snapper pretty consistently. It's just such a great variety of so many good fish in here all the time. A pompano is really fantastic. They've had a really great fried grouper in here. 
And then I've had some fantastic crab meat stuffed flounder. The flounder's always on the menu, whether it's listed or not. Then I've had a great seafood platter here. Oh, that was a great night. And then uh, salmon comes on pretty often too. That's always a good option. And uh, ooh, you can't have a Greek restaurant without lamb. This is a great lamb shank. A roast leg of lamb comes on the menu pretty often. And ooh, a little ribeye steak, of course, is always a good idea. And uh, the lamb and vegetables with orzo is also a pretty consistent thing that's on the menu that's really good. And then the Kasari burger is a huge burger. That's on the rotation pretty often as well. And uh, here's an example of a salad we're going to start out with first. Usually I do the soup, but ooh, this salad is the uh, upgrade to the Greek salad. It's really delicious. There's a lot of great things on here. The uh, salad dressing is really great. Olive oil, vinegar blend with some delicious cheese on there. It's got a lot of flavors. All these vegetables on here really make it a nice, crunchy, crisp thing. I like to get this on really hot summer days. Ooh, it's so delicious and good. Ooh. Really put a lot of flavor in here. During dinner service with the uh, four course menu, you get the soup and the salad and a dessert. But just like I've destroyed the salad, go ahead and destroy that thumbs up like button as it really would help me with the YouTube algorithm and that helps me keep making more great videos and I really appreciate it. Thanks so much. Now here's an Abigail Limino. Check this out. Mmm. Ooh, have a golemino. This is such a great and simple soup. It's just fantastic flavors of lemon and chicken, and then the rice really just fills it out just for a great combination of flavors. I really like it. Now, the most interesting soup they have here is the six onion soup, and you have to be careful because I've seen people get burned with this. It's nuclear hot underneath here. Look at all that steam coming off of it. You've got to be really careful. This is my uh, preferred way to eat it. I like to peel back the little crust on top and uh, eat some of the soup out of it because if you try to go straight through there, it doesn't turn out pretty usually. That just searing hot soup usually spills everywhere. I like to peel back this little top layer, soak it in a little bit, get it softened up. Now, some people just peel it off and eat that crust straight and before they dig into the soup, but I like to soak it in here and kind of mix it in with the soup. But it really has a fantastic flavor. It's really nice. I enjoy eating it. Okay, so here's a, a little crust after I let it soak for a bit. And it softens it up and makes it so it doesn't crumble everywhere and go all over the place. So it makes it uh, a little easier to eat, I think. Kind of makes it like a little dumpling, so I enjoy it that way. But hey, other people like it all crispy and crunchy, so hey, different ways of doing it. So look at this, ooh, it's still just like searing hot going everywhere with the steam. This is one of the hottest soups I think I've ever eaten that just maintains the heat consistently. Ooh, look at here. Now there's still a little crunchy crispiness right here in this piece, so this is a great way to eat it, I think. It's probably the neatest way I know to eat it. So that's a great way to try it. Here we are, a little red fish. Look at this huge thing. They have great red fish and trout fried in huge pieces like this all the time. And wow, what a huge piece of fish. I don't know any other restaurant that serves such huge portions. It's so good. So it totally deserves a click on that like button. So go ahead and hit that thumbs up. I'll be there shortly. Little red fish. Piping hot. Eat your vegetables. Mm, 
nice white flaky flesh. So the unusual sides are these vegetables and a baked potato, but I usually get double veggies because I think it's better for me. You can also get things like a side of pasta that's also really good. So I destroyed that fried fish. So let's check out some of the grilled fish. Here's the red snapper. Oh, ho, ho, this is so good too. Oh my goodness. I just have a hard time choosing sometimes. I try my best to go with the grilled fish, but sometimes you need a great big huge chunk of the red fish or the trout. Mmm, though, this red snapper is so delicious. And here's a swordfish steak. Ooh, the swordfish is so good. Oh my goodness, I do enjoy some delicious swordfish. Although the swordfish, you've got to kind of be careful with it because of mercury levels. You can't have a whole lot of this uh, every week. I think you're supposed to limit yourself to no more than two servings, maybe not more than one, depending on different factors. So do love the flavor of it so much though it's just such a great piece of fish when you grill it like this mm. so destroy that thumbs up like button for this delicious swordfish a little swordfish <laughs> go ahead and destroy that subscribe button now too so you can Keep getting more great content and look at this amazing lasagna. Oh my gosh. They really have a fantastic red sauce on here. The red gravy in this place is so flavorful. They definitely make amazing dishes with that marinara sauce here. Ooh. They really have a great combination of the cheese and the meat and the sauce and the lasagna noodles that go together to make for a really delicious combination here. This is one of my favorite lasagnas in the New Orleans area, so it's so delicious. It's such a huge serving though, I have to limit myself because it's just such a big piece and I can't resist eating the entire thing. Usually most people would probably just take half of it to go and eat it later, but I can't resist the deliciousness of this stuff. It's so amazing. Oh, I love the flavor so much I have to eat it all. So I have to be careful and pace myself here. So as you can see, I totally destroyed this lasagna and did not pace myself. So the two course lunch special was $19.88 before tip. And thanks so much to everybody at Acropolis Cuisine for so many great meals. Thanks to all of you out there for tuning into the Nolagent channel, especially to my Patreons. And I'd really appreciate it if you could go ahead and smash that subscribe button, give this video a thumbs up, and comment below. Let me know what you thought about this video. And while you're down there, check out the link to my Patreon account because, hey, I do work for tips, and I'd appreciate it if you could help me with that. And if you could just share this video with any of your friends and contacts, that really would help too. So tune in next time for more good food, good times, and good people. Thanks for watching, I really appreciate it. And if you would just click on the little circle here with a picture of my head in there and subscribe to the Nolajet channel, it would really help me a lot. I really appreciate it. Thank you.